Hello everyone. Today we will discuss the concept of matrix factorization. Matrix factorization is a technique used in linear algebra, machine learning and deep learning. Matrix factorization is a technique to decompose a matrix into the product of two or more simpler matrices. The goal of this one is to find the low rank matrix or low rank approximation of the original matrix which can help with the various different tasks. So the different application can be the matrix factorizations. Those application that can matrix factorization can be used for the recommendations. Matrix factorization can be used for the dimension reductions or collaborative filterings or so many other approaches can be where the matrix factorization can be used. Like taking the example of uh, collaborative filterings or recommendations. In the context of collaborative filtering, the matrix factorization is commonly used for the recommendation systems. The idea is to represent user and item as a vector in the latent space, where the inner product of the vendor predicts the user preferences for a particular item by factorizing the user item rating matrix into two lower dimension matrix, one representing the user and other representing the item. We can estimate the missing ratings and can make the personalized recommendations. We may have the different approaches for the matrix factorizations. One common approach, our most popular approach, that is non-negative matrix factorizations. Today we will discuss the concept of the non-negative matrix factorization. When we say that it's non-negative matrix factorizations, this one approach is used for the matrix factorization, which is particularly useful when dealing with non-negative data. Non-negative matrix factorizations factorize a non-negative matrix into two non-negative matrices, where the resulting factors are interpreted as an additive part of the original data. So matrix factorization has so many other applications that can be used uh, instead of uh, collaborative filterings or recommendation. It can be used for the text mining, signal processing and other approaches can be used for the matrix uh, factorization. Let we have to implement the matrix factorization using the non-negative matrix factorization method. So how we can implement it? So very first steps, say so open the Jupyter notebook. So here we have to import the library that is related to the non-negative matrix factorization methods. So we have to import library. So what we have, we have to use the sklearn import sklearn dot. We are having the library that is the decomposition. Or we can use it over here from sklearn.decomposition and then we can import the method that is used for the non-negative matrix factorization and that is a we see that's nf nmf non-negative matrix factorization just execute this one so as it should be sklearn so when we import the libraries and import the methods in other libraries that we need decomposition as I Okay, now after the importing this and here sklearn.decomposition import nmf. Now next one method that we, uh, library that we needed numpy. So we have to import 
numpy as np shift enter now we have to create one matrix in this one matrix that we said we are having the x is a matrix in this one matrix we say that np dot array numpy array we have to define numpy array and we want to define one matrix over here let me say that first one row is here one two and three second row we want to define it over here four five six third row that we want to use it over here seven eight nine We want to use these three different matrices uh, and we want to start with an end. So we have, we define the matrix over here. Let's check. We have a matrix over here. X that containing the three rows and three columns are available. Now we have to apply the non-negative matrix factorization method. So we have to apply. And the method is over here in MF. So how we can apply it over here? So let me see that we are we are defining the model. And model equal to we have to use the method in MF non matrix factorization. So here in this one methods we have to define the components. So first one we see that's the n components. So that should be in lower case. And components, number of components should be two. And we have to define the initialization method. So we initially we will initialize it by the randoms. Initialize with the randoms. And Next one, we have to use it over the random state. And that should be a zero. Just execute this. So we define it over here. We apply the models. That is a non metric factorizations. So when we are having, so here we will have the two different components that we are using the W that is used for the, uh, this one methods. Now we see that so we are having the model dot we have to use the fit transform and we have to fit model dot fit transform and we have to fit transform the model that is a x now in other components we have to use the model components so we see that's a we are using the horizontal that we say that's x equal to model dot components our models dot component if you want to check what are the components so that will be here if you want to say that's uh, what are the different two days that one is a w and h if you want to display it over here, we are having the list of the array is defined over here. In next one, we are having the model components that is of, we are using the H. So that will be over here. Now we have to go for the metric factorizations. So how we may be able to define the metric factorization. So for that one, we can use it over here, np dot dot. We have to use the dot. And then we have to use it over here. The uh, one is a review and second one is a H and we want to print it over here use the print methods our this one is 
initialization. So we are having two different factors that are over here. This one is uh, one is the W and second one is the H and our predicted matrix will be here. So here if we see that we are having the original matrix. So our original mat matrix will be So how we can display the original matrix? So original matrix is available in the X. And if you want to display it over here, the our factorized matrix. So we have to use the print. Next, from starting from next lines, so our factorized matrix will be here using this one. We have to use the np dot dot. So we will find over here the two different matrix over here. draw the lines between these two just execute that once oh spelling mistakes so here we have the print matrix just execute that one so here we are having the our original matrix was here and then this one was the original one two three four five six and factorize after factorizations we are having the new matrix that is over here and the two factors that we are having one is uh, we having the w and the second one we are having the next one component is h so both of these in this way we may be able to factorize a matrix so using this one, we may be able to factorize the method matrix. So in this example, we take the one method that is the in MF that is used for the matrix factorization. In next example or uh, next session, we will discuss the matrix factorization for the recommendations. Thanks for watching the video.